Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two yellow right triangles, uh, triangle AEF uh, and the other right triangle EFC are fully confined in a square ABCD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, right triangle AEF uh, is uh, 4 centimeter square whereas the area of this other right triangle uh, EFC is 12 centimeter square and moreover this uh, side length uh, FC is 6 centimeter and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EFC whose area has been given to us as 12 and the side length is 6 and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base times height and in our case the base is 6 and the height EF is unknown so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula the area of the triangle has been given to us as 12 equals to a half times the base is 6 and the height is EF let me just write it down let's divide both sides by 3 to isolate EF so therefore our EF length turns out to be 4 centimeter so therefore this side length EF turns out to be 4 and now let's focus on this other right triangle AEF whose area has been given to us as 4 and the side length uh, is 4 as well and now we are going to calculate uh, this other side length uh, AE by using this uh, area of triangle formula so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the area of this triangle is uh, 4 equals to a half uh, times uh, base is uh, 4 and uh, times height uh, is uh, AE let me just write it down Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate A. So therefore, our AE length turns out to be 2 cm. So therefore, our this side length AE turns out to be 2. And here's our next step. This time, we are going to just focus uh, on these uh, line segments uh, AE, EF, uh, and uh, FC. And we know this uh, AE length uh, is uh, 2 this uh, EF length uh, is uh, 4 and finally the length for this uh, FC is uh, 6 now let's assume the side length uh, of this uh, blue square is uh, X this side is X uh, since all the side lengths are same across the board so all these uh, side lengths are going to be X and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these vertices A and uh, C and as a result we got this uh, diagonal uh, AC and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case our longest leg is uh, AC and other two legs are uh, X uh, and uh, X so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so a in our case is X so become X square plus uh, X square once again equal to our diagonal is uh, a c whole square let me go ahead and undo this square on both uh, sides by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our this uh, a c length uh, turns out to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2 so therefore our this uh, diagonal uh, a c turns out to be x times uh, square root of 2 and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, diagonal uh, AC makes uh, two right triangles the first one uh, is uh, AEP and the other right triangle is uh, CFP and here's our next step let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these uh, two angles uh, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha we know this is our 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this uh, angle has got to be our angle beta now we know that this angle and this angle uh, 
they are convert they are vertical angles if this angle is beta then this angle has got to be angle beta as well and we know that this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees in this uh, another triangle so therefore uh, this uh, angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha so therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles uh, a e p and the other right triangle uh, c f p are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion so therefore the ratio of uh, e p divided by a e is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, p f and uh, f c in other words, uh, EP and AE ratio is going to be equal to FP and this uh, FC ratio. And now let's assume that this uh, length uh, EP is lowercase a and we know that this whole uh, EF length uh, is uh, 4. So therefore, uh, this uh, PF length is going to be 4 uh, minus a. Now we can see our EP length uh, is uh, lowercase a. AE length is 2, PF length is 4 minus A and finally our FC length is 6. Let's cross uh, multiply. So therefore we are going to get uh, 6 times A equal to 8 minus uh, 2 times A. Let's uh, add uh, 2 A on both sides. This is gone. So therefore 8 A turns out to be 8. Let's divide both sides by A to isolate A. So therefore our A value turns out to be simply 1 centimeter. So therefore our this uh, EP length uh, A, I can replace it by 1 over here. And this uh, PF length is going to be 4 minus A which is 1. 4 minus 1 is going to give us uh, 3 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEP. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And here our longest leg uh, is uh, AP which we are going to calculate. And the other two legs are 1 and uh, 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got A is uh, 1 square plus B is uh, 2 square. And our side C is uh, AP whole square. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our AP length simply turns out to be square root of uh, 5. So therefore our this uh, AP length turns out to be square root of 5. And now in this uh, next step let's focus on this other right triangle uh, CFP. And once again, we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, this side length uh, PC. Go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean uh, formula. So we got uh, 3 square plus uh, 6 uh, square equal to PC whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. And we can see on the left hand side, we got PC equals to if we simplify the right hand side square root of 45 as we did over here it turns out to be 3 times the square root of 5 so therefore pc length turns out to be 3 times the square root of 5 so therefore our this uh, pc length turns out to be 3 times the square root of 5 now let's make an observation we can see that this whole diagonal uh, ac equal to this uh, ap and then plus uh, PC as you can see in this uh, equation and our AP length is uh, square root of 5 and our PC length is uh, 3 times the uh, square root of 5. So therefore our this uh, diagonal AC length turns out to be 4 times the uh, square root of 5 and we also know that our AC length uh, is uh, x times square root of 2 that we figured out in our previous steps. So therefore let's go ahead and compare uh, these uh, two equations. Since the left hand sides are identical, so therefore we can equate uh, x times the uh, square root of 2 equals to 4 times the uh, square root of uh, 5. Let's divide both sides by square root of 2 to isolate x. So therefore our x value turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 5 
divided by square root of 2 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue square a b c d and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents uh, the side length uh, of this uh, square and in our case the side length of this blue square is 4 times square root of 5 divided by square root of 2 so therefore this blue square area is going to be we are going to take a square of 4 times uh, square root of 5 divided by square root of 2 whole uh, square and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 40 centimeter square so thus the blue square area turns out to be 40 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye